Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very beautiful word from the Bible. It is full of expression and also let us be blessed as we read the word of God. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the Holy Spirit also, which you have given it to us as a guide and a helper. Hallelujah. As we read in 2 Samuel chapter 16, verse 1, the word says, A little past the top of the hill. Yes, it was a hard climb up that hill for a man with a burdened heart. Isn't it? Many times when we have a lot of problems, a lot of questions in our mind which are going on and also though the steps are very simple but still we are having a burdened heart as the similar situation as we see over here. Yes, and he was tired and done. Then came God's provision for him through Ziba. Yes, are you a little past the top of hill? Feeling tired and almost done? Take heart. Yes, my dear brother, my dear sister, take heart. My dear beloved, yes, brothers, sisters, yes, take heart. God has something ready at the precious moment. God's help will meet you. Yes, beloved. For he knows our past, present and future. Yes, beloved, as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 10, it says from the beginning he knows the end. We may think in our life, why is such things happening in my life? Why is the question, isn't it? As similar was the question in Job's life. Yes, but God has a plan, beloved. For the words are true as we read in Job 23 verse 14. All the plans, yes, is as per his appointment. Yes, so whatever God has planned for you, yes, we may think for a time that we can do things by our own way. But the word says, wait upon the Lord. The word says three times, wait upon the Lord as we read in Psalm 37. The words are true as we read in Micah 7.7. 7. I will look to the Lord. I will wait for him and he will answer me. Yes, beloved. He is a God of the living, not the dead, and all live to him. The words are true as we read in Luke chapter 20, verse 38. And the word is our spirit. The words are life. Yes, the words are true as we read in the mighty word, John 6, verse 63. The word is life, the word is spirit, the word is proven, the word is flawless, beloved. The words are true. Yes, he is the omnipotent God who reigns as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. So, whatever your request is there today, my dear brother, my dear sister, go in the presence of the living God boldly. Yes, for the words are same yesterday, today and forever. As we read in Hebrews 13, verse 8, and he is the living God. Yes, he is a loving father. As the prophecy came to me in 2000, as we were reading the word, yes, the word came, God reigns. The words are true, beloved. Yes, for this pandemic times, the words are true, our living God reigns. As we read in Isaiah, yes, it is speaking in chapter 24, verse 23. The same word in Psalm 96, verse 10, God reigns. And the same word in Psalm 146, verse 10, God reigns. Yes, beloved, for the word says, yes, Call unto me, and I will tell you great and searchable things you do not know. The words are true as we read in Jeremiah 33 verse 3. So, let us go in his presence boldly and ask whatever our requests are there. For the word says to you and to me, fear the not, 365 times. And it says, yes, ask and you shall receive. As read in Matthew 7 verse 8, for it will be given to every one. There is no feast, there is no kind of sacrifice that is required. What we require is we have to love one another is the commandment to you and to me as we read in John 15 verse 12. And we have to love our living God with all our heart, mind, soul and strength as we read the mighty word from Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. Yes, beloved, let us fear our living God for when we obey him, we will have victory as we read in Deuteronomy chapter 11. Yes, for the battle is the Lord's, so remember it. As we read, the mighty word is speaking to you and to me. From 1 Samuel 17 verse 45. Yes, the battle is the Lord's, beloved. And also, the victory rests with the mighty God. The horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory rests with the mighty God. As we read, the mighty word is speaking to you and to me from Deuteronomy. Yes, and Proverbs 21 verse 30 and 31. Hallelujah. And the promised blessings of the obedience, as we read in Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 14, it says, When we love him, when we keep his commandments, when we obey him, yes, when we fear him, we shall be the head and not the tail. 
and thou will bless my basket and we shall not borrow but lend to the nations hallelujah yes beloved i am his witness i want you also to receive the blessings which are there in abundance as we read in psalm 36 verse 8 yes beloved and always say that i will be done john 6 verse 38 yes beloved for he knows all of our needs yes he will carry us even in a gray hair and old age the words are true as we read in isaiah 46 verse yes for hallelujah yes beloved for he's loved us with everlasting love as we read in jeremiah 31 verse 3 Yes, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Yeshu Mashiach, on the cross for us, that whosoever believeth should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. And the prophecy for this year, my dear brother, my dear sister, for you and me, as read in Jeremiah twenty nine verse eleven, it says, "I know your thoughts." I and also the word says, "I have plans of future hope, prosperity, peace, welfare, and also future for you and me." Let us receive the prosperity, beloved. For when we meditate on His Word, we will have the wealth and riches in a house. The Word has been declared in Psalm 102, verse 3. Yes, for riches, enduring riches. Yes, and righteousness, and also honor are with our living God. As we read in Proverbs 8, verse 17, and the Word says in verse 21 of Proverbs 8, bestowing wealth on all those whom we love and making their treasuries full. Yes, the words are true. Let us receive the blessings. Hallelujah. For the Word says in Proverbs 28, verse 25. Yes, it says those who fear Him will have prosperity. Yes, let us receive the prosperity. Let us fear Him and receive the blessings, beloved. Let us trust in Him. Trust the Lord at all times. The Word says in Psalm sixty-two, verse eight, and O oh, taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in Him. The words are true. Psalm thirty-four, verse eight. For the angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear Him and delivers them. The words are true. Psalm thirty-four. Verse seven. Yes, beloved. And remember, in all these things we are more than conquerors. As we read the mighty word in Romans eight, verse thirty-seven. Yes, my God will provide all your needs in the glorious riches of Yeshua Mashiach. The words are true as we read in Philippians four, verse nineteen. Whatever your requirements are there for today, my dear brother, my dear sister, God will provide. Yes, the words are true. Genesis twenty-two, verse fourteen. Yes, for in blessings he will bless us. Genesis twenty-two verse seventeen. Yes, beloved. For as he said to Sarah, "I am the Lord your God. Is there anything too hard for me?" The words are true as we read in Genesis fourteen verse eighteen. Yes, eighteen verse fourteen. The words are true, beloved. The words, as it was said, it has been done. Today we are Israel, numerous as stars, isn't it? Hallelujah. For the words are true as we read in Isaiah forty-five verse seven. The word is saying, "I form light, I create darkness." I bring calamity. I bring prosperity. I am the Lord your God who does all these things. The words are true, beloved. As we read the mighty word, Isaiah forty-five verse seven, and God is blessing you and me. The word says in Ezekiel twelve verse twenty-eight, none of the things that I have spoken will be postponed. It it will be done. Hallelujah! For all His promises are yea and amen in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. As we read the mighty word from Second Corinthians chapter one verse twenty. So we encourage, my dear sister, my dear brother. This is not a story book. Not a guide. It is the living word of God. Yes, beloved. Let us believe on Him and walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, as we read in Second Corinthians five or seven, and the verse says, "Cast your cares upon the Lord, for He cares for you." The words are true. As we read in one Peter five seven, and be healed my, right now, my dear brother, my dear sister, for with the wounds and stripes that He suffered for us, He heals us. Isaiah fifty three verse seven. Hallelujah. Yes. As a fifty-three was five. The words are true, beloved. For he took our infirmities and carried the diseases. The words are true, as we read in Matthew eight, verse seventeen. Yes, at that very hour, the people with infirmities, afflictions, were healed. The blind were healed. Yes, they received their sight, and the evil spirits ran away. Hallelujah. The words are true, as we read in Luke seven, verse twenty-one. The words are living words, beloved. Yes. For the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word, the word of God stands forever. The words are true. Isaiah forty verse thirty one and verse eight and thirty one verse says, "He will renew our strength like the eagles." Hallelujah. The words are true as we read in Isaiah fifty eight. It says in verse eleven, "Yes, He will strengthen our frame. Yes, we shall be like the well watered garden whose streams never dry, and He will lead us even in the sun scorched land." Hallelujah. Isn't that beautiful, beloved? As we read. The mighty word from Habakkuk. It says in verse in chapter three, verses as seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. It says, even though the olives fail, the wines fail, still I will praise you. Yes, I will praise you. It says, for you make my feet like deer, and you enable me to reach 
the high hills, the great heights. Hallelujah. Yes, beloved. When we commit ourselves in his hands, when we surrender ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. Yes, he will carry us. Yes, beloved. The words are true. Isaiah 46 verse 4. Yes, for he will not leave us as orphans. My dear brother, my dear sister, as read in John 14 verse 18. The words are true. The words are living. For he is the way, the truth and life. John 14 verse 6. He is the light of the world. John 8 12. He is the living waters. John 4 10. He is the gate. Whoever enters will find pastures inside, outside and will be at rest. Yes, will be saved. The words are true as read the mighty word from John 10 verse 9. And my dear children, my dear youth, he will bless you with wisdom to achieve the further achievements in life for whatever is your desire. God will fulfill it. A living God will fulfill it. For he is a Yahweh Ere. He is a banner. He is a Ishunasi. As read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. And also he is a Malek Malekha, King of kings, Lord of lords. He will bless us with peace and joy. For these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also. For Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace. Let him be the chief guest of your heart and my heart and our house. As we read in Revelation 3.20. And he is a salvation. Revelation 7.10. And he will wipe away our every tear. He will lead us to the living waters. And he is a shepherd. As we read in Revelation 7 verse 17. For he is Alpha and Omega. Remember it. As we read in Revelation 1 verse 8. Hallelujah. Yes. Are you a little past the top of the hill? Feeling tired and almost done? Take heart. As we are trying to understand. Take heart, the word says, for the word says to you and to me 365 times, fear thou not. Yes, the word says in Isaiah 41 verse 10, my dear brother, my dear sister, fear thou not for I am with thee. Fear thou not for I am with thee. Fear thou not for I am with thee. For he himself will help us. He will uphold us with his right, his right hand. He will take our right hand in his hand and he himself will help us. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, he is a mighty God. Yes, and he's a guide even unto death. Remember the words as we read in Psalm 48 verse 14. And he will never leave us nor forsake us. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. So, every time, let us always praise the living God. For as we see in the morning, the birds are praising the living God. For we are much more than the birds, isn't it? The word says, do not worry. As we read in Matthew chapter 6 verse 34. For tomorrow will worry about itself. Why take he thought? The words are true. As we read in Matthew chapter 6 verse 28. Yes, beloved. For he knows all our thoughts. The words are true. For from the beginning he knows the end, beloved. He knows everything. Yes, a living God knows our past, present and future. And also he will wipe away all our past deeds. Yes, he will give us a new life, a new name. As the words are true, as we read in Deuteronomy 26 verse 18 and 19. And he will bless us abundantly. As we read in Psalm 38 verse 6. Yes, beloved. And also in Ephesians, we read in chapter 3 verse 20. God's help will meet you, beloved. Just a little further on, and all who honor me with joy shall prove my promise true. They sh too shall honor be. They will receive the honor. Full well, I know thy heart's desire, the height to which thou dost aspire, thy love which burns with holy fire and all to honor me. When we honor our living God, yes, he will also love us and also we will receive the blessings for the righteousness, the riches, enduring riches and honor are with him as we read in Proverbs 8, beloved, from verse 17, yes, beloved, and 18. Let us receive the blessings for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Remember it as we read in Nehemiah 8.10. And for us to live is Christ and die is gain. Philippians 1 verse 21. When we commit ourselves in his hands, he will take care of us. For the words are true, Psalm 32 verse 8. He will lead us, guide us, help us, counsel us, watch over us. Let us know why become like a horse or a mule or his word will not keep with us. Remember, beloved, he comes riding on the heavens on the excellency of clouds to help you and me. As read in Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 27. Yes, and the word says, When you abide in me and my words abide in you, whatever you desire, you will receive. The words are true. I am his witness. As read in John 15 verse 7. What is it to abide in the Lord? As read in 1 John 3 verse 22, it says, We have to fear him, keep his commandments. Yes, and obey him. That is what he requires. As we also read from Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And the word says in John 15 verse 12, that we have to love one another. Yes, beloved. For love is the greatest of all. It covers all differences. It breaks all barriers and love never dies. Yes, beloved. Let us love one another. Yes, 
And when we love one another, Christ lives in us, and his love was made complete through us. 1 John 4.12 Hallelujah. For he who is within me is greater than he was in this world. 1 John 4.4 4. For Jesus Christ, let him be within us. Hallelujah. Yes, for he is the way, the truth, and life. As Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and life. John 14 verse 6. Let us commit ourselves in his hands and he will take care of us. Yes, he will bless us in abundance, beloved. Yes, and always say, thy will be done. John 6 verse 38. The words are true, beloved. Yes, and also the word says, God will bless us with strength and with peace. Yes, as we read in Psalm 29, verse 11. Yes, beloved. He is a defense, as we read in Psalm 59. Yes, and he will deliver us. He will deliver us of every problems. The words are true, as we read in Jeremiah, chapter 39. When the word comes twice, it has been done, beloved. For God said to Jacob, 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 I will make you a great nation. Today we are Israel. Yes, we are the prince with God, as we read in Genesis 46, verse 2. The words are true, beloved. Explore the Bible, read the word of God and be encouraged today and every day for God is with us, beloved. We are not alone. Remember it. So wipe away those tears. Yes. And be encouraged, my dear sister, my dear brother, seize the day. Yes. And also the word says, all authority in heaven and earth belongs to me. Matthew 28. Even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Masiha. And he's promised us he's with us till the end. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 28. The words are true. Yes, he is the maker of heaven and earth and he is there with us. Psalm 121 is true. For it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord and he is the maker of heaven and earth. Yes, he is the maker of heaven and earth. And the victory rests with the mighty God. As we read in Proverbs 21 verse 31. So we have everything. What we have to do is we have to just go in his presence, put up our request and pray and also we have to be victorious in life. Yes, and seize the day. Hallelujah. For the word says to you and to me, in Deuteronomy chapter 7, God says three times, I love you, I love you, I love you. Yes, the words are true as we read in Isaiah 30 verse 18. It says, he longs to be gracious to us. Yes, yes. And also, he's a God of justice. Blessed is the man who waits upon him. Let us wait upon him. And also, let us receive the instruction as God speaks to us, beloved, when we read the Bible. Yes, read the Bible. Meditate on his word and receive the blessings. Arise and shine is the message for you and me as we read Nazareth 60 verse 1. Yes, do like and subscribe the channel. Arise and shine, Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel as God has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest. It was also my desire in 1985 as he gave me the wisdom. I thank the Lord for the words are true. It says in James 1 verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and upbraid it not. Hallelujah. The words are true. About my future, I'd ask. The words have come true. As it says, Rejoice in the Lord, give thanks in all circumstances and pray constantly for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ for you. 1 Thessalonians 5.16 Yes, the words are true, beloved. You have to just put up your request and he will answer you. Just try it. You will be happy in your life. Yes, you will be joyous in your life. Yes, for Jesus Christ is there with us. He loves us. He loves all of us. Hallelujah. For he came in this world not for the righteous but for the sinners. Hallelujah. He has loved all of us, beloved. Yes, be blessed today and every day. God bless you. Number 6, verse 24. Amen. Amen.